South Korea's consumer prices rose at their fastest pace in nearly five years last month. That was mainly due to a spike in the price of oil as well as agricultural and farm goods. For a breakdown of the digits, we turn to our Kim Minji. Korea's consumer price growth has risen to the highest level in almost five years. The country's consumer price index rose 2.2 percent in March from a year ago, accelerating from 1.9 percent growth in February. The figure is the highest since the 2.2 percent recorded back in June 2012. The increase comes on the back of rising gas prices at the pump and higher utility bills that push up inflation, along with expensive fruit and vegetable prices. Global oil prices are another factor. We must note that oil prices hit extremely low levels in March of last year. In fact, the prices of petroleum products have risen over 14 percent to their highest level since November 2011. That helped pull consumer price growth up by 0.59 percentage points overall. Agricultural livestock and fisheries rose 5.8 percent in March, leading to a gain of 0.46 percentage points in overall inflation. The upward pressure in prices is expected to continue for some time, especially due to a base effect from higher global oil prices compared to last year and prices of fresh food produce. But since there isn't a supply and demand problem, it's not expected to see a sharp rise. The government is vowed to keep close tabs on prices, especially on goods or services that affect the average household. There are both positive and negative factors ahead. The recovery in global oil prices has slowed, and the prices of agricultural products will drop with the arrival of the spring harvest season. But at the same time, there is the possibility of fluctuations in global oil prices and bad weather conditions like dry spells. Experts say although there is a limit in what the government can do, it needs to actively maintain supply and demand as well as be open to increasing imports for price stability in the long run. A failure to do so can weigh on consumer sentiment. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.